guys. I'm going to start off with some facts. Um, this is Syrian Hemp's care. The care she needs to be they're 360 square inches, and that is the minimum cage required. Do not use pine or cedar because they contain an oil and it can make them really sick and stuff. Dwarf hamsters, they can't have cavernous good feet because they can have diabetes. And dwarf hamsters, they die after about a week of diabetes. So I would recommend not to use um, Cavernous Complete. Um, Germans can have bath in chinchilla bath sand, and that cleans them really well, although they already clean themselves. Um, if your Syrian gets in like a tub about that big, um, fill of water and stuff, in a put them in it, they can get really sick and sometimes they can lead to death. Um, you should never like put two Syrians together because they will fight and they can make each other have broken bones and sometimes they might even cause death. And we don't that, want that happening to our poor little Syrians. Pets will only keep them together to um, because of the lack of space. Um, well, as soon as they're eight weeks, they have to be split up. Let's say you said, oh, my two hamsters love each other. No, I don't see how they would do that. Um, they might, but, you know, um, I would split them up as soon as they're eight weeks. No longer. You get to choose your hamster because their teeth, they need stuff for their teeth. So they can chew on it, and when they bite, it won't be as hard. It just um, can chunks of like all the stuff together. Um, don't breed your own hamster. Leave it to a professional. Leave it to professional breeders. Um, if your mum or dad or some, like somebody is a professional breeder. You know, they can take your hamster up to a lab or something, and um, not a lab, um, a thingy, a jiggy, uh, they can breed it themselves, but then they are professionals, aren't they? And this is the stuff that I have, treats. I use some fazies, um, only because they're really cheap, um, and you know, like cheap stuff isn't good for your hamsters, but he likes them. Softwood bedding. Um, I use this as sawdust, and um, this is like rabbits, guinea pigs, um, and hamsters. You can get this for your um, hamsters and dwarf hamsters, and uh, I got this from um, Pets at Home, and um, it's really good. At it. You can get, I recommend Carefresh because it lives a happier life for your hamsters. Um, Carefresh confetti isn't the best one, but it's still really good. And it needs to work for rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters, um, like a reptile, like snake type thing, a rat, mouse, gerbil, ferret, chinchilla, and like a parrot, like a bird. Oh, um, yeah, that's sort of it for this video. Uh, so I'm hoping to get, like, more chews, um, the chews from the hamster cage, but he's chewing it right at this moment, so I can't show you it, um, but hopefully I will see you again soon.